And Mark Tribble of the Courier Post. Good morning, Mark. How are you? I'm doing good, Dave. How are you? Pretty good, man. Got a little bit of a, a reporter rivalry going on here. Everybody wants to get on the show. But we must be doing something right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I was uh, I was talking to Kevin Callahan the other night, and uh, you know, he he was talking about how he's got to find all this time to to do his radio spot. And I said, you know, I got to get on there. I got to I got to talk to Sully. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're basically, uh, you, you bumped McGarry off this week, so you guys might have to go at it a little bit. Oh, uh, man, I don't think I can go down the shore for a little while. But I can't my face. Uh, what's going on, man? Let's talk some high school wrestling. We haven't really gotten too much into it. We get uh, John O'Kane on once a week to talk about it. Uh, what, what's going on your your neck of the woods in the high school wrestling? Well, John's great. Uh, John is far more than, than I'll ever uh, forget about high school wrestling, but... <laughs> A lot's going on early. Uh, a lot of dual meets, a lot of big meets. Uh, you know, now we got the Virginia duels this weekend. St. Augustine's down there as it's had a field and um, came to Catholic. But the story so far is Delcy. Uh, Delcy seems to be the team to beat them in St. Augustine. Um, last week, what what stood out to me is you, you got Jim Brady at St. Augustine. He was slated at 220 coming into the year. Um, and Matt Carenti at Holy Cross is probably going to win state at 220. Uh-huh. Um, so Brady bumped up to heavyweight. And um, in the Courier Post and, and the Daily Journal, both in the Mad Pack, um, we had Rodriguez Abina as our top heavyweight. And last week, Brady beat him in his first bout as a heavyweight. So Brady now also becomes another another person that we're looking at as as a possible state champ um in two eighty five. So that that was like the biggest move so far. Um a lot of the chalk has kinda held up. Uh some of these kids won't see each other till the end of the season, but there's a lot of feeling out to do, you know, there's there's it's the same old customers atop the uh atop the list with Delcy, uh Buna, Paulsboro and South Jersey in terms of teams. But um this is really where it gets interesting because you can see which freshmen and sophomores really step up to the plate here in the next few weeks. What about, what about a team like Egg Harbor Township here in the Cape Atlantic League down this way? Uh, you know, they've they've really had a, a great season last year. I think they they set a, a single season wins record as a team with with twenty or twenty one wins. They have some guys who have been to states and uh, really a, an outstanding quad today. When you're talking about Clearview, Timber Creek, and West Effort going down to Egg Harbor Township. You know what? What do you think of that team and and their chances? You know, not only in as a team in states, but also some individuals. Well, I like Egg Harbor Township. Uh, they're in our top fifteen, and and there's no doubt they bring some kids back. I mean, you look at Agostino at one ninety five. Um, they got some other kids that are also tremendous wrestlers. Um, th- it's funny you mentioned that. I'm supposed to see them today, so so I'll get a good look up close and personal. Um, you know, it, it's just so difficult to kind of gauge these teams until you see them at these bigger meets. Uh, and so that's, I'd love to see them wrestle Clearview and kind of see see where they're at because Clearview's one of our top teams, and we know in a couple weight classes that they got kids that are certainly going to make a run for the podium. But EHT, um, everything we've seen from them in terms of what's coming in and, and kind of keep in touch with uh, with. Well, it's going on down on the shore. Like you said, I mean, we don't get down there too much, but um, they're definitely on our radar. They're, they're easily a top 15, top 10 team in South Jersey. I'll tell you a team I like is Clearview, man. These kids really just, they seem to have a kind of attitude, you know, kind of a us-against-the-world type of thing. They're they are kind of a smaller school out of mm-hmm. the way over there in uh, Mantua Township, I guess, is where they're located in that area. But they come to these big tournaments, and, and they really kick some butt. I mean, they have some guys, you know, Zach Firestone and, and Van Brill and some of these guys who have really made a name for themselves over the last couple of years. Well, and the nice thing about Clearview is if you drive out there to watch them wrestle, you certainly have plenty of time to think about them on the way back home. Because <laughs> it, is, it is a hike. But, um, you know, you got Firestone at 132. is tremendous. Um, the, the big key for them this year is they get Stanley Atkinson, kid who went to Kingsway last year. They have him in the mix at um, 145, and you're right. I mean, they've, they've got some heavy hitters. Eisenhart at 170 is, is one of our top five uh, wrestlers at that class. Uh, Clearview certainly, and that's another that's another squad I'm really, really excited to see today because they've they've made their presence known already. I know they dropped a 
drop the meat to Delcy, but you know, uh, Delcy's kind of in their own. It's, it's Delcy and the prep are one and right, two, and it's going to be that way all year. I mean, those are the two best teams in South Jersey, um, and outside of that, it'll be interesting to see how Clearview can kind of get it going, and um, and all the pieces that fit together so far for the Pioneers. We're talking with uh, Mark Tribble from the Courier Post, covers some high school wrestling. And uh, if, if you haven't picked it up yet today, go out and get yourself a copy of the Courier Post uh, Saturday edition, uh, the, the Mad Pack, a whole page on South Jersey wrestling. A uh, little known fact, Mark, I, I was at the Daily Journal back from two, 2007 to 2009 when we kind of came up with this idea for the Mad Pla- Pack and a weekly wrestling page. Wow. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm going to give myself a little pat on the back for that one. <laughs> Myself well, and uh, know, your, your boy um, Tom McGurk and uh, Josh Friedman. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Tom, uh, you came highly recommended from Tom. There's no doubt about it. So <laughs> I knew you had to be a wrestling guy if, uh, if Tom leaves to your corner. Uh, I've never wrestled, actually, you know, in high school or anything, but I just love the sport. I mean, uh, you know, I'll, I'll watch Vision Quest once a year. I'm, I'm that kind of guy. <laughs> uh, t- talk, well, talk a- is, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, talk a little bit about. Well, the thing that- Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. What are you, you going to say? We're, we're kind of talking over each other. Well, I was, sorry, sorry. Um, I was just going to say the thing that's so great about high school wrestling is, is these kids, I mean, the amount of dedication they have to the sport, the fans, uh, and the fans are so knowledgeable, especially in South Jersey. It's really tremendous. It's my first year covering it in South Jersey. And um, just taking a step back and looking at the atmosphere that's at some of these meets, you know, it's on the Tuesday night, I'm at, or Wednesday night, I'm at Seneca. For Camden Catholic, the place is half full. Um, the place is loud. It's it's just a very it's very dramatic. It's very fanta- it's fantastic. Uh, it's just fantastic support from the people of Church. Everything I've seen, I've been incredibly impressed with. I'll tell you something I've noticed over the last couple of years, Mark, is uh, the moms really getting into this stuff. I mean, they know that they know the calls. They know the the wrestlers. You know, they they're getting on the refs, kind of like like the dads used to do for so many years and kind of neat to see to yeah. see the women get into it a little bit yeah absolutely um i i feel the same way it, it, and it's tremendous and the other thing that i noticed and and granted i know we're talking about uh i'm gonna refer to paulsburg here and wrestling's a way of life in paulsburg there's no doubt about it but mm-hmm. you know the first meeting of the season or one of the first ones uh your buddy tom and i went out and saw hadfield in paulsburg we get there 35, 40 minutes beforehand, and the visiting stands are packed with older people, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, much older. And you're thinking, God, how many how many meets have these people made in a <laughs> row? You know what I mean? Right. Like, they haven't missed one probably going back umpteen years. So, uh, yeah, very, very – I mean, it's just incredible. It's really uh, overtaken me in terms of getting adjusted to South Jersey wrestling. Sounds like a Sunday feature there, buddy. Get to work yeah, on it. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, talk a little bit about about the guys at your paper and uh, the Daily Journal and, and all these guys. Um, what's the back and forth like when you're trying to rank these teams and these individual wrestlers? You guys do uh, a top five for each weight class. And I know the, the, the fans get so into this. You know, there's so much online social media back and forth. Oh, this guy shouldn't be number one at this weight class. You know, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll take a look at, uh, I'll, I'll tell you this, track wrestling. Uh, the website certainly gets used a lot uh, during the course of the week. I think it's I think it's our home browser at this point. <laughs> um, but you know, Tom, we'll have a pretty good idea once we come up with the first uh, the first ranking in the preseason. Then from there, uh, we'll go through and and we know who lost. You know, we'll remember and we'll go back through and see if anyone needs to jump them. And you know, sometimes you got to go back to see if these kids ever wrestled last year, if they ever crossed paths, who they beat, they might have beat someone else, or, you know, do they have a common denominator in place? And Tom and I will go over the rankings. Uh, then we'll call Josh Friedman, you know, at the end of the week and, and go over it again um, and kind of figure out, you know, where we're at. There's not too much that changes. I mean, it seems like it's a lot. I think if it were top 10, in each class, it probably would be a lot, but because it's top five, uh, most of these kids are going to be the cream of the crop uh, most of the year. So it's not too difficult, mm-hmm. but, yeah, you know, you'll always have – you can ask Kevin Minnick about this. I mean, <laughs> he said whatever you're going to rank – whatever you're going to rank people or teams, uh, someone's going to be upset. Sure, yeah. Uh, talk real quick, Mark, about a minute left. 
uh, your feature today, coaches uh, hitting the mats to help kids improve. And you see that all over the place, especially in South Jersey. You know, a team like Absagami has Sean Scannell, former state champ, you know, getting down the mats. You know, Ocean City, Dave Castellini, he's right in there. Uh, you know, some of these other guys, you know, Kiasa, he, he still gets down on the mats with these guys at Agarber Township. And uh, it's really cool, one of those sports where you can just, you know, almost go against your, your players uh, on a daily basis. It's, it's kind of a neat thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, it's something that, that's always stood out to me, um, and, and I was glad to do the feature story on it and, and talking to Greg Sawyer at Delcy and just hearing what he had to say about it. That, you know, he's, he's got five guys in the room, five assistants plus himself, who – get down and wrestle with these kids, spar with these kids at practice. And the kids know they're not going to win. I mean, there's no there's no chance of them winning. It has nothing to do with that. But um, the confidence that comes out of that, that when you go into a bout then, you know, that week or the next day, you know the kid you're wrestling is nothing compared to Greg Sawyer. You know? Right. <laughs> so so that, that type of confidence of like, well, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know who this kid is, but but he's not going to be better than my coach. That really helps uh, develop these kids and give them the confidence, and they can work on things like stamina. You know, when a, when a guy's not going to relent on you and you're going six minutes full in practice, um, against a grown man, you know, you're going to be fine in the long run. So it, it was an interesting topic, and it's one I'm glad we covered. But um, it is it is a very interesting dynamic of wrestling that maybe some other sports don't have. Good stuff, Mark. We're up against the break. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch up with you soon, buddy. Thanks so much, Dave. Appreciate it, man. No problem. All right. That was uh, Mark Tribble from the Courier Post.